What's up, Divey's family? Today is a Sunday afternoon, and I am enjoying father-daughter time with my beautiful, amazing daughter. And yes, we are drinking this amazing, refreshing drink. It is made out of watermelons with a little bit of mint and lime. By making this drink, you guys will not want to go to the store and buy juice again. And you don't need a juicer. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And I'll see you on the other side. I'll at ya, boy. Peace. Welcome back, Diabetes family. Welcome back, baby. So the first thing you're gonna need, of course, is a nice watermelon. Make sure it is ripe. The best way to find out you have a good watermelon is if you tap it a little bit and you have that little hollowness, you're good to go. It's gonna be nice and sweet and juicy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the end off so you have just a little bit of flesh just, just in there. And then we're going to cut the other end, just like so. This is not gonna be the typical way that you cut your watermelon. This is going to be an easy and it's gonna require less cleanup. So you're welcome. So as you can see, I was trying to cut down the middle and what had happened was I just butchered it, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's still gonna turn out amazing. You feel me? So we're going to push that one half to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn our knife at a 45 degree angle and we're just going to slide it all the way down. And what we're going to do is we're just cutting the ends off. I like cutting the watermelon this way is because I can save the amount of flesh that I, would, I wouldn't have if I would have cut it the other way. And besides, it's easier this way. So what we're doing is we're pretty much just sculpting this watermelon. As you can see, the meat of it, there is a lot of it. So, you know, we're good to go. And I'm just cutting like all the white pieces. If you don't get all the little white pieces of the rind, then, you know, it's really not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a total failure. But I like to just make sure I get the majority of the rind off without sacrificing the meat of this watermelon. And just take your time and make sure you have a sharp knife while you're doing this. It is very important. Go, Don't go doing this with a dull knife. Y'all know how I feel about dull knives. Now that the watermelon is to my liking, I'm going to make vertical cuts down. Just like you can make thin or you can make thick slices, but the object is to cut small enough pieces that this is going to fit into your blender. Now, this whole thing is not gonna fit in your blender. You may have to like, you know, blend it a couple times, but make sure you cut thin enough pieces to where it comes out to be cubes. Kind of like this. And the cool thing about this process is you could basically, as many times as you do this, you can come up with different types of shortcuts so you're not taking so much time cutting this watermelon. I don't know about you guys, but I love smelling the freshness of the watermelon. Like literally this had my whole kitchen just smelling just fresh. You know what I'm saying? And I get the same feeling when I cut cucumbers up too. It just has that freshness. And I love watermelon because it's super watery and it super hydrates you. When I was doing my juice fast, like this is pretty much what I ate the majority of what I ate was watermelon.
And did you guys see that little shortcut I did? I took the three slabs, cut them in vertical, hit it horizontal, and boom, done. Just like that. So that's what I'm talking about. Take little shortcuts so the process doesn't take you as long. And voila, just like that, we're all done. So now we're going to fill this blender up with the watermelon. Now, like I said, this whole bowl is not going to fit, so you may have to blend a couple times. Or you can put it into a plastic container and save it for the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do it either or. But this is, we're juicing without a juicer. We're using a blender. You know what I'm saying? So for those that don't have a juicer, this is another way that you guys can juice your fruits. Now for this next step, you're going to need a strainer. Um, you can do a strainer with a cheesecloth, which would work even better, but I didn't have any cheesecloth, so I'm just using the strainer. And just like that, strainer catches all the pulp and releases all the juices into the container. And what I'm doing now is I am taking my wooden spatula and I'm just pressing and squeezing everything out, every last drop. Now, I didn't say this was going to be an easier way to do it, but this is for those people that don't have a juicer. You can use a blender and a strainer and you're good to go. And depending on the juicer you have, like I have, this is less cleanup. This is like less cleanup for me. So I'm actually happy with this process. So you know me, I'm a little extra. So I'm gonna grab two limes and I'm going to squeeze it into this juice. I think I decided on just doing one lime. I didn't want it to be too citrusy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, the other lime that I had, I used it for a garnish because you know I had to make it look good for the gram. So yeah, I'm just squeezing the lime inside because I wanted to add a little bit of punch to this watermelon juice. Now with this last step, um, we're going to take fresh mint and we're going to squeeze it just to release the juices, right? We gotta squeeze it to release those juices, release those oils out of the leaves. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to steep it into the glass container. And that's it. We're pretty much going to set it into the refrigerator. I would prefer you guys put it in overnight you know what I'm saying? Um, but if you can't wait, you know, let it sit for a couple hours, but just leave it in the refrigerator overnight if you can. Like all those flavors coming together is just going to be that much better. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to dressing up our decor. We are done. So, you know, I'm gonna put a little ice in it. I know it's just me and my daughter, but I'm super fancy and I want these glasses to look amazing you feel me but look at that juice you know what i mean like that is fresh juice it's not store-bought this is something that we made in the kitchen and then of course you know i had to hit it with a little bit of perrier sparkling water you know that was that was my daughter's idea like i'm not gonna take full credit for that and I wanna take the time to thank each and every one of you for taking the time and watching my videos. You guys can be anywhere in the world, but today you decided to be right here with me. And for that, I thank you. And I'm gonna end this video on this note. If you eat good, you live good, and you feel good. And don't forget to tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Holla at ya, boy, peace.